Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vinny Lion. Please, if this is your first time on the channel, do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. And also please turn on the notification bell so that whenever I release new videos, you'll be notified. So today, uh, we're going to be talking about a car that is causing its Canadian owner's distress. Yes. A car causing its owner's distress. You know, in Canada and as and many other places in the world, a car is a very important means of mobility, of transportation, of moving yourself from point A to B. And when people get a car or buy a car, the least thing they are expecting is to have distress or stress from owning that car. You know, so this particular car has been causing its owners a lot of distress in Canada. This car is a very popular car because it's a very reliable car. <laughs> and since it's a very reliable car and people love to buy it, well, another group of people have taken an interest in the car. The thieves. Yes. This is the number one stolen car in Canada. Number one stolen car in Canada. And as I'm talking, some of you have already guessed the car I'm talking about. And that is none other than the Honda CRV. And this is the 2016 to the 2021 models. But I know it's more like the 2017 because the 2016 was the end of the last generation but from 2017 that the design was refined you know from 2017 upwards up to 2021 you have a more refined design of the honda crv and these have been stealing that car like crazy in this country i know people who's who've bought a honda crv and it was stolen they bought another one and it still got stolen. Yeah. I personally know like eight people who have owned that car and it has been stolen from, from them. I also have a friend who, whose car had a problem. So he went to the dealership. He had a CV. He, he took it to the dealership to get it repaired. And when he went and gave the dealership, they gave him a replacement vehicle. And guess which car they gave him? The Honda CRV. So the guy was there, he had that car for one, one week. After using the car, the dealership called him and told him, okay, your car is ready, come and get your car. So he headed to the dealership to go and get his car. But when he went and reached the dealership and collected his car, I wanted to drive back home. When he turned on the car, he noticed that there were check, some check lights, you know, you know, when your check engine light comes on, check oil light and some stuff like that, and which were not there when he brought the car to the dealership, meaning that there was an issue. So he took it back to the dealership and told them, okay, listen, when I brought this car, these things that are now on the dashboard were not there. So please, can you fix my car and just bring it back to a perfect state? So since they had already given him the CRV as a replacement car, they told him, okay, you know, no problem. You can go with the CRV one more time, you know, and in two days you can come back for your car. And that was a, a weekend. I think that was a Saturday. So as the gentleman took the car and went with it back home, that same night, that same night, thieves, the men of the underworld, the guys who love the cars more than the owners, came and took the car away. Yes. They stole the car. So the guy woke up in the morning and, you know, he went and he was looking around and it was like he was dreaming, you know. You know, where you park something somewhere, you know, this is where I parked it. And then suddenly you start thinking, oh, oh, is my brain failing me? Or I wasn't drunk or anything, you know. That's what he was saying to himself, you know, when he was explaining it to me. He said he was looking at the space and there was another car parked there, a BMW. And he said, but, but this is where I parked the, CR, the CRV. 
the Honda CRV. What happened? Unfortunately, thieves had made away with it. And there was nothing the guy could do, you know? There was nothing he could do. So he had to go tell the dealership that the car had been stolen and the investigation was opened. In fact, it looks like he was unaware that that car was a car that was being targeted by thieves, you know? But that's the thing. So a lot of the owners of CRVs now, they're having a lot of distress. Because, you know, when they, 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 they steal your car, it's not like the insurance is just going to replace your car the next day. You know, especially when it comes to theft. Well, sometimes it takes a little bit of time before, you know, they pay for the car. And so it creates a lot of distress for the owners of these cars. And also, it leads to an increase in the insurance cost. That's the monthly amount that you pay a month for the next car that you, you buy. You know, because they, they're going to charge you more. They're going to say, this guy is a reckless guy, right? It's not your fault, but yeah, that's it. And a lot of people here, we have they, they, they are open parkings. You, they don't have garages, especially if you're living at an apartment complex. There are very few garages there, if at all there are. Most don't have any garages. You have to park by the roadside, you know. So it makes it, even those who own houses, most of them just park in their driveway. So this makes it very easy for the thieves to, you know, scoop it. But I know you're asking the question, but how is it so easy? Why is it so easy for thieves to steal that car? Yeah, so apparently what the mechanics are saying is, you know, as they've been building cars, they've been trying to improve on the systems. And a lot of cars now, if you notice, they have what they call the keyless ignition. So you bring your car close, your, your, if you hold the, the, the car key, and there's like, it's emitting like waves, you know, like Wi-Fi. So it can sense that this is the right key for the car. Through the software you can open the key the the car without using any key you know just by you know pressing the stuff from a distance so what the thieves have done is they have learned how you know to bring their own uh software system try to get access to your key you know they try to connect it it's like you're trying to connect to a wi-fi so they bring this system and try to connect to your key in the house and reprogram the key that the car uses you know by software and just open it like that you know i saw a video of guys that were showing a demonstration of how these cars are, st are being stolen and they are stolen like within two three minutes the guys are done they're gone man like gone in the wind <laughs> you have people parking their cars at malls and they, they, they they're gone they come out and they're like am i dreaming what's happening so it's because it's become so distressing. Imagine your car is stolen, no fault of yours, and your insurance has to go up. Your car is stolen, no fault of yours. You have to wait for a little bit of investigation, you know, the insurance to check one or two things before you get in a car. You know, you get the money maybe to buy a new car. So it's quite distressing for a lot of people. Nobody wants to go through that. You know. So um the the car it's it's really it's not the only car that's being stolen there's a whole list there you have the honda crv number one in canada but last year alone 2021 4100 and something of those cars were stolen and the second most stolen car that came behind it is the lexus rx and just 2000 over 2000 units that were, were stolen so you see these cars are stolen twice the rate of the second most stolen car. That is crazy. It is literally mind-boggling. You know, until the, the police have been, even been tweeting about it. The Ottawa police, the, in August, they tweeted that about 60-something cars have been stolen in the span of a few weeks. And they were advising people, you know, to be more careful with their cars. Right? You know? So one thing that you people are going to ask is, okay, so if I own a Honda CRV, what can I do to keep my car protected? 
you know, don't make the car visible. So that will mean you need a garage that you can lock your car inside, you know, so that the thieves cannot access it. They come, your garage is locked, the car is locked in there, they're done, you know. Even the police said it, that if they can't see it, they can take it. So that's, that's the first suggestion. The second thing you can do to protect your car is to get an electronic vehicle immobilizer. And the third thing you can do is to get a port locker. So if you own a Honda CRV, try to follow those recommendations. And you can try to find out other uh, things that you can do to safeguard your car, protect your car from thieves, and sleep easy at night. So that's all that I had for this session. Thank you all for watching. And if you liked this content, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't hesitate to like, because when you like the video, it's recommended to other people. Please also don't forget to share. Share in your circles. Thank you very much. I'm Vinny Lyon, and see you in the next video. Bye.